Hey, Thomas, how you doing? I'm good. Hey, uh, Quentin wants to say he he got his fresh cup of coffee. He's uh, ready for uh, the grab bag. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Tarantino. Uh, we, we appreciate your uh, guest, uh, guest starring on the show. <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, he's he's from uh, the uh, Pulp Fiction line of uh, action figures. I also got, um, uh, I also have uh, the uh, John Travolta and the uh, Samuel Jackson. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll show him, show them uh, in our, our later episodes. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, when we get there, um, uh, and of course, what are we? What are these two guys talking about? Uh, we are the first, last, of the nerdum. Um, uh, we would really appreciate if you give us a like, uh, or share, uh, give us a reshare. That'd be great. Or uh, yes, even better, if you could. Uh, word nerditos. Yes, <laughs> yes. Please join us in our community yes. of nerditos, uh, and uh, and. Uh, hit subscribe uh, we want to say i want to say thank you to the 47 folks out there who have uh, decided to uh tag along uh in our mm -hmm. 134 five-ish videos who knows mm -hmm. um uh and i always like wanted to call attention to our back catalog uh you'll find something there um we're, we're not really you know culture warrior takedown uh things we're more about finding cool things to share uh and of course this is our weekly Red bag where we cover the current events and news uh, this week. Uh, we it's kind of a light week. I think it's starting to settle down as we're getting into that doldrum or uh, you know the the slow swing of summer, I guess. Yeah, but we have some interesting things to talk about. But uh, we do. But yeah, it's um, <laughs> yeah we we did talk about on our uh, main channel. We talked about uh, my house uh, dot w a d. Uh, which is a uh, uh, a video game uh, which we don't normally talk about, but uh, I found it very interesting. So uh, I uh, hit compelling. Mike up, and uh, we we talked about a little bit of it. Um, hopefully, you you guys uh, find it interesting. If not, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, um, we uh, we uh, kind of do a little deep dive into. Uh, uh, video game lore and doom and uh, how someone could take a uh, video game of their house and make a interesting story absolutely yeah and uh, also of note um, if you are curious uh, we also have a, a little bit of content underneath our live tab as well I uh, just mm -hmm. want to shout out especially relating to dune and what what this mm -hmm. got uh, what got all of us started uh, shout out to uh, Dune fans out there. Uh, you're definitely those. But anyway, yeah, we're uh, we're Wax approaching poetic on on our awesome back catalog. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we're we're approaching 300 uh, views on our uh, on our uh, Dune reaction video for our uh, trailer. But I, I think maybe the fact that I entitled it "Reacting to Dune 2 <laughs> May may contribute to the fact that maybe people were like, "Oh my God, they're reacting to the movie." Uh, maybe <laughs> not the trailer, <laughs> but uh, hey, you know, <laughs> clickbaiting stuff is is not a bad thing. <laughs> no, no, not at all, not at all. And with that being said, uh, we can hop into our first uh, thing as we slide on down the line uh, for this week's content. So. Uh, at the top of the mm -hmm. show, there we showed uh, you show or you showed Quentin Tarantino. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Quentin! <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, uh, he uh, he he's saying that um, hey, uh, maybe you should maybe make James Bond movies based on the actual books. Uh, which um, uh, a few years back, I started actually reading the. Uh, the novels of uh, Ian Fleming's uh, James Bond movie uh, books, and uh, they're quite a bit different than the actual movies. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it would be kind of cool to uh, actually translate those into the actual movies. <laughs> That's funny. 
Yeah, well, uh, God forbid you should actually follow the original source material and you know mm -hmm. do, it just, do it some respect or or some level of of homage. Yeah, we were talking about uh, last week. We were talking about um, Conan and how the the actual movie isn't really <laughs> Conan, um, and it would be like really cool to actually do a movie based on Conan. Uh, the same is true for uh, uh, James Bond. Actually, do a, a real James Bond movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, they. This goes back to understanding your content, not having an adversarial role with it, mm -hmm. um, embracing it, uh, making it your own. That certainly can yield amazing results in in and of itself. Like, for example, Conan. It it could have gone easily the other way where we wouldn't even be talking about it, but it made enough of an impact. It stuck around, uh, and you know, <laughs> obviously, it became a sequel uh, a little bit later on. We when we covered that at length uh, in that, but <laughs> yeah, I, I don't disagree with him. I think I w of course I always like to follow and, and hear what his thoughts are in, in general movie making. And, and, yeah, uh, and yeah, uh, and whatnot. It's always in Tarantino. Yeah, he 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 knows what. Um, works with Pulp Fiction, and uh, you know, <laughs> you know his his name is some synonymous with Pulp Fiction. He knows what works and what doesn't work, and uh, it would be remiss for uh, us to not listen to what he has to say. <laughs> yeah, and he also uh, came out with a book last year, I believe, too. Um, mm -hmm. I, I might be, uh, but I'll make sure I put that in the. In the show notes here. Yeah, I, I actually read his um, novelization of uh, Once oh, yeah. Upon a Time. Yeah, <laughs> Bruce Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 actually is a, a pretty good novel. This is what I've heard. The actual novel is um, the the movie. I haven't seen yet, so I can't really judge. But um, I've mm -hmm. heard the movies and all that um, up up the bar for what people are used to. But regardless. I have I heard very good things about the novel, and I, I like the the book too. <laughs> right on, right on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was gonna say anything else to add before we uh, no. go down to the. I don't think we can work our way on down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of down, <laughs> there's uh, Disney. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I threw this in here just. Uh, just to uh, just show how shitty uh, Disney can be. Uh, basically, uh, they're they're like uh, throwing out movie deals to uh, legendary uh, Disney people uh, just to shut them up. Really? Uh, that's that's the rumor anyway. Uh, that you know the the various people uh, they 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 get them tied up into movie deals. So that they can't talk about, uh, you know, how shitty Disney is. <laughs> Interesting. I I did not see this one uh, by <laughs> w, WDW Pro. I like his uh, shout out to his channel. <laughs> uh, great content. Mm. Uh, and uh, was this John Trent? Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. It was John Trent who wrote it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny. You know. That's. Not, that doesn't surprise me. Maybe it's true, maybe it's mm -hmm. not, but it, it certainly would not surprise <laughs> me with what we currently no. have and how Disney has operated in the past. Um, mm -hmm. Just at, back before they bought any of this stuff and they were just doing their own mm -hmm. original content. Um, I mean, uh, original films like uh, Snow White and you know, right. et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> And then, you know, releasing those over the genre of VHS and then later on DVD. <laughs> You know, in the Disney vault. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I need to find the um, YouTube video. That there's a documentary about that that kind of talk about how they did business in Eisner's era, etc. It's just, just interesting. Uh, but that does not surprise me. That's not that's disappointing. Uh, welcome back. Uh, while we were talking <laughs> about this, we were just wrapping this one up, um, talking about. Uh, um, yeah, uh, Disney. Disney tried to silence us, uh, but we won't be silenced. So uh, <laughs> we're we're back. True story. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, Tarantino's back with his coffee. <laughs> uh, right on. Yeah. 
right on. And then, uh, uh, speaking of uh, that, anything else to cover uh, before we go on to the next uh, news item? No, I think I think we're good. Word. Yeah. So you had put this in the in the in the chat this week, mm -hmm. uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, and there's another one too. Like I'll bring up here on the in a minute. Yeah. So with this one. <laughs> yeah. The um, the Scalum game. It's uh, been notoriously uh, been reported as being very very bad. That is not good. We, we, cr <laughs> yeah. we crush it. We hate it. We hate <laughs> it forever. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, the, the, they were talking about how the uh, the hair hair physics of it is like really really bad. <laughs> uh, I think but I, yeah. I, uh, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I I almost kind of want to watch uh, like someone streaming this game just just show how bad it, it how bad it is. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, yeah the uh, the developers actually, uh, I think with this article, actually apologize for how bad it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's. Uh, uh, that, that's that's not good. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Hopefully, this will pop up here. That is <laughs> really bad. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Well, this this also highlights to um, speaking of disappointment, um, and it's not really. I'm not going to put a link in here, but um, I did hear a little bit of the rumblings about um, what are the or what is it? Return. Oh, the Amazon one, anyway. Like, uh, oh, uh, steam ahead for that one. <laughs> the Rings of Power. Yeah, the, yeah Rings of Power. Yeah. Ring, ring -a ling a ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I heard that they're they're starting the uh, publicity machine. Anyway, that's that's one way to put it. Um, mm. But anyway, <laughs> um, going from this to um, kind of a joy and two little things I wanted to cover. I saw this. Uh, happened May 23rd, I think. Uh, they turned off the lights on HBO Max and they turned on the lights at Max. Okay. Uh, one, uh, the same thing that I, I said and you said and you made the observation uh, several weeks ago when we talked a little bit, we dipped into this a little bit. This is always the plan with Zaslav coming on board to kind of mm -hmm. combine things. Things didn't really combine. Um, like the rumor mill suggested like where Discovery Plus would be merged. That's still its own separate mm -hmm. thing, um, and it's a little bit cheaper than the Max. But they I, of this, it didn't really. The only criticism that I would have for this is, what are you doing Go, going away from the HBO name? That doesn't make sense. Um, mm -hmm. you know, that's like a friggin' cultural, cultural touchstone. Um, if you're you know above a certain age, a certain generation, you always remember that was a premium kind of thing. Cable yeah, was HBO had the sense of gravitas <laughs> right in tasteful way too mm -hmm. right no uh but as, anyway um they went another direction which is max uh, which is fine mm -hmm. i will say um since i downloaded this and logged in it is a lot more polished and better uh, than it was before um to do a really do a test i'll have to fire up my android um thing and see how that goes because it was always a dog on that for some reason uh and sometimes it, uh, when it would update, it would be absolutely useless. Like where it would lock mm -hmm. up the thing and you have to power it off and power it on. Very rare. Mm -hmm. um, but that hasn't happened. It's been very smooth. Although I am disappointed. Uh, the only minor criticism I would have as a user is I used to be, you used to be able to put your own photo as your profile picture. Mm -hmm. um, and that option is no longer there. Um, or at least mm -hmm. the last time I, the first day, I, day one I checked in. But anyway, more importantly, um, this at the very end of this has um, two uh, two things that I, I was very happy to see, which is a fourth season of True Detective, um, and that is coming out, um, and I like that. Uh, and Jodie Foster, I did watch the um, trailer, and it's pretty good. Um, it would be kind of fun to have you watch it offline and see what your thoughts mm -hmm. were on it. Um, and then, of course, the Penguin. Uh, with Colin Farrell, I believe. Uh, yeah, Colin Farrell, who doesn't, it's crazy. 
Um, <laughs> this is coming up in 2024 to look forward to. So I'm excited about that. Mm-hmm. I, I want to see we're very serious, adult oriented kind of Batman villain where mm-hmm. they'll take it. Um, I don't think it'll be stupid from everything I've heard about the rumor mill around it. I've not heard one negative thing really. Um, since this has kind of been um, from rumor mill to actually, you know, coming out. Um, so, yeah. I like, I like to see how it plays out. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, because it kind of feels like we're. I think I don't know that we're superhero movies are dead yet. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far as a <laughs> genre, um, but I think there's still. A, you're never going to get rid of Batman, uh, and there's a lot of great depth there that they can play mm-hmm. from uh, if they do it right. Um, and of course, the Harry mm-hmm. Potter one. That's that one is in a little bit more territory, but who knows? You know, wait, yeah, really, uh, uh, we'll be the final judgment when it actually comes out. Because I actually. I'm not really a Harry Potter fan per se. Um, I knew about it, but it was kind of a little bit beyond me when I came up. Yeah, so. I think that I think that um, the fact that they will make it into a series uh, based on the books that way they can go a little bit deeper into the books. As long as they get the the right um, people to play the characters, right. uh, it, it might might be uh, might be cool. Yeah. yeah, as long as they um, you know trip over themselves tying their you know, shoelaces together, hopefully mm-hmm. <laughs> that could very easily happen. Right. Um, and there's a um, well, but you know we don't know. Uh, and then uh, I think I saw this and I just wanted to kind of get in here because like I just I see this <laughs> and okay, there's two strikes against this thing already. All right, and that thing what I'm talking about, year three. Um, I don't. I know. I think we kind of talked about this. We showed up for season one and two, did a little cover them in depth, but we kind of touched on them as we as we uh, went through time. Um, and we, I think, season one we were both. It was okay. It was fine. And then season yeah, two, the, I the, you, you season out. one, yeah, season one was good. It was based off of uh, the stories um, previously set forth. Uh, yeah, in the season two, they kind of branched off, and uh, when they branched off, uh, I, I didn't like what they were doing. <laughs> yeah, th- there there were a couple episodes where I completely dropped out. Like, um, mm-hmm. like I mean, just like, it was just like, why are we, I don't care about this character or this story, this part of the plot. I don't, I don't see yep. how this does anything for it. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I everything, and, everything and I, and that, I, and I, uh, everything that was like, yes, woman slay, <laughs> uh, was was new to the to the story yeah, and, and it, didn't it work. Kinda, <laughs> yeah, and of course we, after season two ended, um, it, and we were talking about it, and the rumor mill kind of got going. Henry, of course, it was a while ago. Um, Henry Cavill mm-hmm. left the show. Uh, and he's going to be in season three, but I think this speaks to how there's like kind of an open feud between the writers, or there's open kind of push pull. Maybe conflict is too strong a word. Where Henry mm-hmm. Cavill be like, "Hey, no, no, I don't really like this," or like, "Let's not do this," or he would kind of push back a little bit, uh, and the writers would be like, "Oh, well, come on, man, just do it," you know. Like, mm-hmm. and, and like, there's a disconnect there between. As Tarantino mentions at the top of our show, we're talking about the original content you have to be aware mm-hmm. of in some kind of form. And you yeah. have to respect it as some kind of way. Yeah, Even you, if you, you make fun of it, you have to... Yeah, you have you to know. stay true to the characters. <laughs> right. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense, and it's not going gonna, gonna to make the audience be like, I don't really want to... I don't really care about these people, you know, unless mm-hmm. there's, like, significant character development and... As time went on with this series, I'm not going to show up to for season three. Uh, uh, but anyway, my point stands, and maybe you, maybe you uh, care, and and you want to see Henry Cavill. You're a, a Cavill super fan, and that's wonderful. That's great. But the, the thing that kind of like was just like another nail in the coffin for me to not show up was this, like, <laughs> uh, and I'm I apologize for my language, but like I don't give a shit. Like I don't care. Like what? Who cares? Like this just is like a more evidence to like disregard it 
in my opinion. <laughs> happen. Because this, this pulls away from the whole storyline. Instead of it being on the storyline, it's about this particular thing, you know. And I just don't see how that serves any. I, I just don't. Mm-hmm. What relevance does that shit have to to watching it? You know what I mean? Like, um, mm-hmm. I mean, it's just signaling, in, in my opinion. Yeah. This is, I guess, yeah. I guess I'm kind of jumping on a, on a <laughs> stuff <laughs> here. Yeah, Quentin thinks there's something funny in his coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't. He, he's yeah, like, not keen on it. Like, <laughs> I just, you know, it could have been so much better. <laughs> I'll just say that. But, <laughs> yeah. Had they, had the writers and Cavill been able to kind of work something out um, mm-hmm. collaboratively and, and, and just kind of push their conflict into the art, maybe we would have been better beneficiaries. But that didn't occur, and one person walked away. And then we're, we, but we look good. To, we get to look forward to some more Hammer content. That's just mm-hmm. holy crap. That's its own universe of things. Uh, and I've noticed mm-hmm. over the years how Warhammer lore. And storylines have kind of creeped into my main science fiction. Yeah. <laughs> more, more plain Jane kind of nerd dumb kind of thing. Um, that's just mm-hmm. testament to the fact that people are hungry for original content. Mm-hmm. Imagine that. Imagine that. Definitely. <laughs> so, I mean, it, but hey, if, you, if you're if uh, you bisexual out there and you want to see <laughs> and you love The Witcher, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a little present <laughs> with a bow on it for you. You know, good for you. Definitely. <laughs> anyway, I think I just wanted to before we jump into your recommendation, I just wanted to kind of shout out mm-hmm. to uh, what we covered in our main event, uh, which was yeah. a by Power Pack, a video, a uh, very long, mm-hmm. dedicated video. He did a great job. Uh, he's a mm-hmm. YouTuber, uh, and uh, yeah, just wanted to yeah, shout uh, him out again. Yeah, definitely watch uh, my house uh, by. Power Pack. I also watched um, his video on Duke Nukem. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he kind of goes okay. over to uh, the uh, <laughs> uh, the the old Duke Nukem uh, game that that came out a few years ago, and talks about how um, yeah the 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 missed opportunities, I, I guess, <laughs> uh, right. with the, with that game. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, he's a very interesting uh, YouTuber. Uh, yeah, just kind of go through and uh, see what you uh, might be interested in uh, his stuff. But yeah, definitely check out his uh, uh, my house video. It's it's a tour de force, I think. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. It is a it is a very good bridge to uh, a land that you will not be uh, unhappy to be in <laughs> for <interview. laughs> Uh, and this kind of brings up to uh, your pick of the week uh, for YouTube. Yeah, uh, let's play. Um, that's uh, with the Achievement Hunter. Uh, it's a, a channel I have I've watched uh, here and there um, for the past few years. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the 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 videos that I would recommend currently. Uh, I just watched. Um, the Summer Boys video that just came out, <laughs> uh, which is uh, them just uh, playing a, a video game that's uh, uh, Michael and uh, Gavin uh, just being stupid and playing a video game, uh, which is quite enjoyable. Uh, I also recommend uh, their uh, Dark Souls uh, videos that they've been doing. Uh, with uh, Michael and uh, Joe. Uh, Joe's playing Dark Souls for the first time. Uh, and uh, if you've ever played Dark Souls or uh, are, are kind of interested in it, uh, it's, it's very uh, true uh, to, uh, to uh, the struggles that that, that is uh, Dark Souls. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Yeah, this is great. Uh, and uh, oh, they, got, uh, they got a sizable of uh, video or subscribers awesome mm-hmm. very cool yeah uh, i think that brings us up to the caboose here uh, at the end of the end of the train here this one really wasn't all that long of a, of a week um but we did cover some things and kind of mm-hmm. got i got a little ranty um uh, but that's to be expected <laughs> uh looking forward to this summer and some blockbusters that will be coming out especially looking as we roll up to the fall for dune or two um but we'll just have to wait and see what that looks like 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, and um, you know, sometimes we'll uh, step up on our uh, soapbox. Uh, you know, that we we tend to do that. Uh, also, um, you know, every once in a while we have uh, uh, we throw things into our cringe corner. Uh, yep. When we find something cringy on the internet, we like to to spotlight it. Uh, but yeah, if you have any ideas, uh, any things that you want us to cover or uh, maybe spotlight, you know, definitely give us a, a comment. Uh, I, I do appreciate that we we do have some comment leavers currently. <laughs> yes, thank and, you. Uh, yeah, we we definitely appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, if you have anything you want to add to our show, uh, definitely add add to it. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, I've been Mike. And I'm Thomas. 